Hare Krishna. So we are discussing the interesting topic, and that is why there is no school for politicians, right? For example, if you want to become an engineer, a doctor, a lawyer, or CA, CS, there are many fields. If you want to take an education, you need to go to the school, and then you have to do the special graduation from you know, specialized institutes, right? Those who are authorized. and then you get the degree and then you can become engineer and doctor and lawyer like that but we never have heard that there is some school or training institute which trains the politicians right actually there was a joke that those who are those who get the first class or those who are the toppers they go to the iit and become the engineer those who get the second class they take some more education they become the mba and then they become the managers of the engineers from the iit those who get the third class uh they start their own business and they employ the uh, the iitians and the managers and they control over them but those who get get the fourth class or those who get those who become failure they become politicians and they control everyone right so this is the situation and, and that's why it is said that you know we must need the some institute which will teach the politicians how to take a decisions right because these politicians are the leaders of the the society of the of all the people of the nation and if they don't know how to take a proper decision or how to deal with the situation they are creating the havoc in the people's life they are playing with the life of the people huh? you know their the people's intention to join the politics is you know nice they feel you know people should be helped you know there are so many poor people they sh- their needs should be fulfilled and you know schooling should be provided there are so many health issues there should be hospital they join the politics with the good intention to help the people but when they go into the polit- politics they see so much money available there they see so much facility sense pleasure available there and they forget everything Uh, they forget about helping people. They start helping themselves. Uh, they use people's money for their own enjoyment, own sense pleasure, and that's why we see many of the politicians, you know, uh, are caught in scams and you know black money issues like that. You know, it said that there is near about seventy thousand lakhs of seventy thousand lakhs of crores, so big amount, seventy thousand lakh crore rupees. are uh, deposited in a switch a swiss bank and the 60% of amount belongs to the politicians so ca- can you imagine how much politician are getting the money from where they are getting the money they are just you know creating scams they are just earning the black money huh? so actually it's people's money they are cheating us like that and also we you know we are keep hearing the news you know, you know there are many <clears throat> politician they are in, indulged in sex racket and you know various various businesses which are not legalized like a slaughter houses and all these things they are engaged so i was just thinking if someone senses are not properly controlled then how is going to control the nation and the nation's people so first of all we should train them how to control your senses how to con- have the control over the senses when you know despite of having the money and seeing all the facilities of the sense pleasure like that so we need that school you know in the previous ages in fact few centuries ago the brahmanas would you know guide or you know they they would decide the country's policy the brahmanas are actually the intellectual um, the the society the intellectual people of the society and they would guide the king you know you should do this you should do that you know this will help the people and king would hear to them but you know nowadays we don't find such a thing and we don't know that on what basis the government is taking the decision and is is it actually helpful to the people or actually uh, people are getting into the more problems because of that decision right so we need some intellectual class of people will you know uh, help the government to take the proper decision you know, this brahmana brahmana kind of people intellectual part of the society and you know we also see in the in the, in the, the bhagavata mahapurana there is a wonderful story of the king vena this particular king vena was the son of anga maharaj and anga maharaj was a really benevolent king 
but this king vena was very nasty very crooked son and when he, be he became the king he started looting the people so on the one side the thieves and the rogues were looting the people and on the other side he was looting the people now the people was really traumatized and horrified what to do and once he told to the sages that there is no need to worship lord vishnu because the king is a representation of lord vishnu so better you worship me and if the king is proper then you can worship him but he was so heinous king he was just killing the people ruthlessly so all the sages were thinking how nonsense king is this now he is comparing himself with the lord vishnu and they were really angry with him and with the power of their mantra they actually killed him and and soon after you know the churning of his body they they gave birth to the prithu maharaj the king prithu and he was really very nice king wonderful king he did so many thing for the earth um so as was so happy that without the plowing she would started giving the crops you know like that so as was so happy so that's why you know earth later came to known as prithvi from his name like that so as we you know, discuss before that there is a no you know powerful brahmana as such you know who will help the king that's why we need the school where they will get the training to control their senses you know despite of having so much facility to enjoy the senses right and the main syllabus for them should be scriptures because just see our scripture if you examine properly scriptures are filled with the examples of the kings only the political leaders only you know you take as example of the dhrushti maharaj he was the king take as example of the dhruva he was the king of the whole world then yayati maharaj then bharat maharaj then as we discussed before the 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 uh, prithu maharaj and prallad maharaj everyone was was king everyone was a king actually so if we discuss and if we teach their good qualities their noble character to them then they will learn you know and they will also try to follow them nowadays the big problem is they don't know about this noble character so they don't know whom to follow so if we teach them about them uh, about this this benevolent king or the you know good charactered king like the yudhishthir maharaj even king lord, uh, lord ramachandra himself see his character so when one learns this they will try to follow them you know this uh, uh, this uh, contemporary leaders will try to follow this you know great leaders from our history and then actually there will be peace the proper peace in the society because they will they will take the good decisions for the all community and all the society like that so that's why that's why i stress the point that you know there must be a school for the politician and the syllabus should be based on our scriptures and we should discuss about the the benevolent king from our history divine history like ayudhishthir maharaj and all those kings and when we when we when we will have this syllabus then only there will be peace and satisfaction in the mankind thank you very much hari krishna